Welcome. Optimus claims their signature V3 AM5 water block is the finest AMD block ever created. But how good is it? Is it cooler than their own foundation block? In this episode, we will unbox, install, and test the signature block, and then tear it down. This is the Vector Network, and let's begin. What's in the box are instructions, a set of mounting hardware, including a mini hex screwdriver, Kingpin KPX thermal paste, and a spatula for the paste. The signature V3's monoblock structure is machined out of a solid piece of brass and features a ceramic Cerakote finish. Inside the block, there's a polymer two-piece jet block insert designed to help cooling. After the testing, we will open this block up to see what it looks like on the inside. This water block features a cold plate with a 25% larger surface area as compared to its previous iterations. For the AM5 CPU, we will be using the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. Let's drop it into the MSI B650M motherboard. Next, we'll screw in the four mounting posts, followed by the Noctua NASTP G1 thermal paste guard and the Noctua NTH2 thermal paste. Then we can drop the block itself onto the CPU, followed by the four thumb screws using the supplied mini hex screwdriver in a crisscross pattern to apply pressure more evenly. From there, let's add a pair of Cool Lance Quick Disconnect QD3 male fittings and then connect the Cool Lance Quick Disconnect fittings. We are using Mayhem's X1 coolant. Stay tuned as the testing is coming up next. To obtain the result, Cinebench and Prime95 will run on our open air test bench with ambient room temperature at 21 degrees Celsius. For testing, the Alpha Cool 30 millimeter copper radiator is cooled by three Noctua NF A12 25 fans at 100% speed and the D5 pump at 50% speed. For reference, increasing the pump to 100% speed decreases the temperatures by 1 degree Celsius across the board. Using the signature V3 block in Cinebench multi core performance, the CPU temperature was 56 degrees Celsius. In Prime95, small FFTS and AVX disabled, the CPU temperature was 63 degrees Celsius. For comparison, the Optimus Foundation AM5 block was installed and tested on the same CPU. The Foundation block is described as having extreme performance, ultra quality, and the Signature block is described as the finest AMD water block ever created. Using the Foundation block in Cinebench, the CPU temperature was 57 degrees Celsius which is one degree higher than the signature. In Prime95, the CPU temperature was 64 degrees Celsius. Again, this is one degree higher than the signature V3 block. So while the signature V3 does achieve a cooler CPU temperature, it is only by one degree Celsius for these specific set of tests. Shown on screen are the actual paste and contact jobs for each of the water blocks. The foundation is on the left and the signature V3 is on the right. Keep in mind, Optimus used the Ryzen 9 7950X, a 16-core processor overclocked to 5 GHz for testing. This resulted in approximately 250 watts used, which is more than double the 120 watts of the 7800X 3D. Perhaps the block will have more significant differences at those higher wattages and workloads. Next, let's remove the four Phillips head screws on the cold plate. Then lift the cold plate up and away from the block. From there, we have a look at the two-piece jet block insert. The pieces are made of polymer and made it together into a single unit. This is designed to create a smooth transition from the round inlet to the jet slot to maximize flow rate directly onto the fins. Currently, the Signature V3 is double the price of the foundation block. The extra cost is primarily due to the size of the brass monoblock, the larger cold plate, and the polymer jet block insert. This is an enthusiast class product aimed at those cooling the most powerful 16 core CPUs on the market. Like the video by clicking the like button. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. 
This is the Vector Network. Please click on the bell for notification when the next episode airs. Click on the links here for more videos like this, including video card and water cooling component teardowns, unboxings, and thermal testing for water-cooled PC builds. Thank you, and I'll see you at the next episode.